Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have something very serious to talk to you guys about. I have a stalker. I have a real life stalker. A stalker that stalks my every move. This girl is seriously obsessed with me, seriously obsessed, like beyond any other stalker we've ever had in the in our whole history of, the, of life. This stalker makes life so difficult for me. It honestly has become such a chore to get up and go any place or do anything because I always am feeling these eyes on me, knowing that someone is staring at me and watching me, never leaving my side, never being free of this person has taken such a toll on me. This morning I tried to do all my housework but I just felt overwhelmed by the presence of this stalker, knowing that she's there all the time. Can you imagine a life with a stalker? You guys, I think I see her now. I think I see her. I'm gonna show you guys this stalker right now. There she is, always looking at me, always staring at me, never leaving me alone. This morning I seriously tried to sweep the stairs and she always runs down the stairs. As soon as I'm at the top of the stairs, she runs down, waits for me at the bottom. But today, because I was sweeping the stairs, she went down each step, one at a time, while I was trying to sweep. So then she got covered in dirt. See that stalker position? See the look of the stalker face? <laughs> she doesn't even try and hide from me. <laughs> Are you a stalker, Ellie? Are you a stalker? Don't let that innocent face fool you, you guys. Even Sophie can't believe how obsessed she is with me. Hey, welcome to today, you guys. Today is Thursday. Uh, we we rescheduled riding lessons from yesterday, so we're going to the barn today. We're going riding. Oh man, I miss having horses at the barn and being able to go anytime and ride. Like we used to ride three times a week, and it's been hard on me, even though I'm not the rider. I'm stalker. <laughs> Nothing I do is safe. Nowhere I go is safe. But I love you. Look at she's got dirt all over her from me sweeping the stairs. You're such a stalker. Such a little baby stalker. <laughs> we are in the process of getting ready for Easter. I have all of our Easter stuff on the table here. Stuff that I have to get put away. Our family is coming for Easter. But today we're going to take a little rest from cleaning up the house. I was cleaning all morning. Trying to clean all morning with my stalker. <laughs> Right now we're gonna take a little bit of a break. It's finally sunny outside, finally warm enough outside that we can get some stuff done outside. I wanna get it done before the weekend, before the grandkids get here. I don't know if it's gonna be warm enough for them to play outside, but if they can, I want it to be like as neat as it can be, clean up the winter the winter stuff. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna do that. We're gonna take you guys with, you, with us. I have like a plan. You guys know that we have this part of our yard that we struggle with overgrowth of weeds. Allie, stay here. Every year we make a little bit more progress getting rid of all this stuff. The reason that Sam can't cut this is because it's got tons of rocks underneath it and it wrecks our tractor. Found a wild crystal. Wow, that is gorgeous. Do you guys see it? Wait, let me back I up like a bit. You can see it there. It's, it is so cute. Sophie's got cargo pants and she's finding them super handy. Every year when we try and cut this down, like we try and finish it, I always get really bad allergies from cutting this stuff while it's growing. So this year I'm thinking like if we get out here, we cut all this stuff and clear it away, we can pick up the rocks before the growth starts and then I won't have allergies. So that's the plan for today. I don't think we'll get it all done today. <laughs> but we're gonna get some of it done. Plus I wanna get rid of all the burrs that Ellie gets into each day. I also wanted to answer a question that I got today, just a random question. Somebody asked, why don't the dogs ever go down to the barn anymore? And the truth is that they go down all the time. They go down in the morning when Sam does chores and they go down at night when they do chores and they stay in the barn with them. Um, also, they when we open the door during the day, they run to the barn and they run back from the barn. To the barn and back to the barn. That's like how they go to the bath. Plus, Whenever we open the door and the dogs and we let the dogs out, they we let them choose. Sometimes Daisy goes, sometimes Molly goes, sometimes Ruby goes, sometimes they both go. Ruby doesn't go down to the barn as much as Molly. Molly's always there. And Daisy, who is like a freak of nature, um, when we open the door, she doesn't even try and go out here. Didn't almost fall getting on this. She goes out during like bathroom visits, but she doesn't go down to the barn. <laughs> a 
And the other thing that's weird about Daisy is that she uh, doesn't like the cold, she doesn't like the heat. She's like a totally different kind of dog. And I saw a comment the other day of somebody that said that they had a breed of dog and their dog was totally different than the breed. And I think most of the problems, most of the differences with Daisy is, are that she's deaf. She has a side yard that she goes to the bathroom and she rings the bell whenever she wants to go. And she runs around this area and around the house throughout the day, but she doesn't go down to the barn and it's her choice. See something that needs to go. Yeah, that needs to go. So I'm gonna cut. I'm going to cut everything down and you guys are going to get your gloves and take them away. You're going to pull them away. We don't have gloves. You need to go get gloves. She blends in. She blends in. <laughs> Can you spot the stalker? <laughs> she runs right through the bird. Oh no, she runs through everything. She doesn't care. There's Molly with her little stick. <laughs> Ellie, come here. It just feels really nice, you guys. All of our dogs are going to the bathroom a million times out here. Ellie's rolling <laughs> Yep, Ellie's having her first real roll. Come here, Alice. Come here. Um, it just feels nice. <laughs> Did not think that's where that was going. Oh, it Ellie just feels has... nice to get outside and be free and, and feel like the sun on us and be able to do some work. Yeah, so if we take her into dad and ask him to take all these burrs off of her. Whoa, just let her run around. No, she can't. These hurt. Oh, these are too big. Alright. And that was a fast trip for this little girl. Look at her head. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up. We had a casualty. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of work, you guys. So, we have to go tell dad. Who's gonna tell dad? Gabby, it's his her fault. All right, hang on, let me call him. All right, let's hear. So basically, Gabby accidentally cut a cut wire, a wire that is, puts the security camera uh, it, this runs all of our security cameras around the property. The camera in the barn and the Wi-Fi in the barn. The security camera? <sighs> Yay. <laughs> Sophie over here looking for worms. Put the, that wood in that bucket there. You got it. Okay, so see the wire, that blue wire there? Yeah, and then it just disappears. It. That's why she cut it, because she couldn't see it. It was in the grass. What? It's so warm out now that we can even take the rain sheets off our horses. Like, it is gorgeous out here. Oh, here comes Sam. <laughs> Don't throw it over her head. 
Okay, we are not cut out for outside work yet. We are not. It's giant. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Sam had to unplug the blue cord. No more Wi-Fi in the barn, ladies and gentlemen, until he gets a new cord. All right, so we cleared out this area here. We'll put the big ones in there. We kind of cleared out an area over there and we're done for today. What a day, what a day. Oh, Gabby's having a bad day. I'm trying to like just talk about good things, but bad things are happening. Okay, uh, if you talk about good things, then only good things will happen. And I want only good things to happen. Anyway, I want to show you guys a hack for getting burrs out of your dog. So we have this, we have this pink, um, <laughs> Ellie. We have this pink spray that we use. It's like a conditioner. You spray it on your dog, poof. Spray it on your horse. The burrs just slide right out. Definitely it makes it so much easier. Our barn is getting like, a lot of junk in it stuff that I don't even know where it's coming from although this April Fool's horse <laughs> that was from me it's almost warm enough you guys it's almost warm enough to get down here and clean out the barn in fact it is supposed to be summer weather next week yeah Ellie don't you do it no it's cleaning the house i got this stereo this little stereo system that i love it works so good and i want to put it in the barn so we have that down here like everything is a mess everything is a mess no laura everything is clean that's what you have to say <laughs> um stop eating the cheerios well they're plain so on one of my sites that i that i frequent to learn about positive reinforcement training they said that one girl said she gives her horses cheerios just regular cheerios because they're like basically fat free and and you can give like a lot without uh, uh without any problems hopefully honey where's your these. where's your purse thing your pouch. Yeah, your pouch. Your treat pouch. Oh, I have that. Yeah, get that. Look how green your eyes are. Where is it? Let's go look. Anyway, Gabby's having a rough day. First, she almost electrocuted herself and set our barn on fire, but or set our property on fire by, <laughs> by cutting an electrical cord. So that was the first thing. <laughs> Gabby doesn't usually ever get into any kind of scuffle like that. Gabby's usually pretty even. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me sometimes too. <coughs> joking. So at first again we cut the cord and then when we then I collected our eggs and we get about three a day, sometimes four. And my blue laying hen, I don't know which one it is yet, but the one that lays blue eggs, she only lays like once a week. And I'm like, oh man, I really like the blue eggs. So today's the third time I got a blue egg and I was so excited. I gave them to Sophie because I was dealing with um, Ellie, because I'm always dealing with Ellie. <laughs> and Sophie put them on the counter so that I could clean them before I put them in the fridge. She put them on the counter and then Gabby comes along and she gets the dish soap. She puts dish soap in the sink and then she puts the dish soap bottle on the counter and cracks my blue egg. So yeah, things are happening crazy. Do you actually like that little pouch? Yeah, I love that little dripping. pouch. No, I love it. Molly snuck out the door. She's down here with us too. All I see are a million jobs. Ah, come here, dog. Ellie, come here, my dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. All I see are a million jobs. And bringing Ellie down to the barn is not the right thing to do. Yeah, look what your dog did to me. <laughs> I want to like. I really need to get her trained and she's doing really she's well. For my pink thing? Yeah, and you are gonna use it. Get the it. one from the blue. All right, we have two of these? Yes. All right, Sophie's gonna groom the muddy horses. All right, there's another. So we do have two of these. Look, two blondies and a brunette. I'm gonna hang it right in here so when you're done, you can, can you brush Gracie, please? Honestly, I commented recently and said like, this will probably be my last puppy, like my last puppy for myself. 
And somebody said, like, that's just silly because they're older and they're contemplating on getting a dog. And I was like, yeah, like, maybe this won't be my last puppy. But yeah, this is my last puppy. Ellie is the one that gets to be, have the title of my last puppy, the last puppy that I buy for myself because holy moly, she is a handful. My fault that she got in the burrs today. I shouldn't have taken her out there because I know that there are burrs there. But we're learning a lot about burrs and how to get them out easily. So that's a positive thing. And also, I learned that... <laughs> I learned that if you're worried that your whore, your dog maybe tried to eat a burr because she had them on her face, just give them a piece of bread dipped in peanut butter or dipped in olive oil, and it will take care of any burrs in there, like in their on their tongue or on their esophagus or anywhere in there. So I gave her that just as a precaution. I don't think she ate any for sure, but I just wanted to double check. I just wanted to stay safe. Don't eat that. Drop it. Drop it. What is in your mouth? Don't eat wood. Wood is definitely not something to eat. Do you not understand? <laughs> Somebody else commented recently and said that they have a terrier or a Yorkie or some kind of terrier cross at their barn and it's a good farm dog. I'm starting to think that maybe Ellie is not the best farm dog. <laughs> I don't know if she's cut out for farm life. Ellie, are you a good farm dog? She just wants to run with the horses. Don't you know that you're beautiful?